Hello. Hello. We have a book. We have a new book to review. And you tell them what it's called? No, I'm just going to enjoy doing this. <laughs> it's called Courage. Courage by Barbara Binns. Who is a local Chicago author. She yay. is, yay. This was uh, going to be put out by HarperCollins in July 2018. So it's not out yet. There's the little square that says Advanced Reader's Edition. Which means we have to be very careful what we say to we you. We can't tell you anything, which makes it really hard to talk about a book when you can't talk about the book. But we can talk about the writing and the themes. We can. And we love all that. All the feels. All the feels. All the feels in this book. Courage. And we, we dispute this a little bit. I feel that the title, Courage, um, the story lives up to its name. It, absolutely. Um, Annie has a different take on that. Well, I don't think it doesn't live up to its name. No, but you have I, other synonyms. <laughs> nims, I, synonyms. Just, <laughs> I just think that... Synonyms. There are other, I knew what you were trying to say. Mm -hmm. But I think that, that there's other themes that were stronger for me than okay. Courage. Okay. Um, I think that's where we're getting to, is that it triggered yeah. other things in you than me. Yeah. I really saw the courage in the book. Yeah. And you saw courage and other things. Yes. Okay. We have agreements, sort of, kind of. Um, this is a middle grade novel in which we see the world of inner city Chicago through the eyes of nearly 13-year-old protagonist Tashaun, who calls himself T, so we'll call him T. The challenges and the dangers and the heartbreak of his life are really apparent from the first few pages. So you really get a sense, uh, pretty much from the get-go, of... You know, the elements of Tashawn's life and his own personal concerns and worries and where he's at. I was really struck by the simplicity of Barbara Bin's descriptions and writing. She, um, she writes with great emotion, so we are taking on this journey through Tashawn's emotional experience of his life and the people in it and the, the things that happened to him. And I really felt that I was experiencing the story through his eyes. Mm -hmm. I mean, that I was inside of him to some extent, walking around with him inside of him experiencing because it is first person it is and it's very a very personal feeling you yeah. really feel like you're right there with him like we don't you sort of feel like you know him now from this book to a certain extent it, he really does become somebody and very quickly that you really are caring for you really are caring about um Barbara Binns gives her characters the gift of letting them be complex and multifaceted she lets them uh make mistakes she lets them be flawed she lets them even be unlikable um, that was one thing I was going to say, because seeing the world only through T's eyes, at times, I wanted him to ask questions. Like, T, why don't you ask this question? Or yeah. why don't you dig deeper into this? Or why are you making these assumptions? Which makes it a great book for discussion in a classroom mm -hmm. or a library program or just, you know, a family mm -hmm. book club, whatever. She's just so good at grounding you inside of T. And so his limited vision becomes your limited vision. Mm -hmm. And... This is designed to be a middle grade novel. Um, I, in thinking about the age range for this, I would say I think eleven is a good starting point, eleven on up, and I would definitely extend that to adults, adults, we right through it. high school and through adults, because yep. you're going to bring your own experiences or whatever age you are to this story. Which means when you're seeing something through Tashawn's eyes and you're an adult, you're even you're going to be in more conflict because you really care about him, and you're practically screaming at the book, you know, do this, and he's not doing it. No. Yeah, I mean, you know your students or you know your, your young person in your life, so I can't tell you exactly where the starting point is. I would say 11 is a safe, safe place to start, but, you know, it can nudge depending upon the young person. And the one other thing I want to bring up is you may think, and the cover may change, by the way, since this is an arc, but the fact that there is a boy on the cover does not mean it is a boy book. In fact, it's definitely a people book. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of girl, major girl characters in the mm -hmm. book. There's adults in the book. It's definitely a human story, so don't let the cover fool you, which is one of the big themes of the book, which yeah. is don't judge a book or a person or a situation yeah. by its cover, by the superficiality of it. One of the things we've talked about is that this book can be used to really encourage young people at a, at a pretty early age to dive deeper into situations that may be unknown or even a little scary mm -hmm. and use curiosity as a way to open themselves up and learn more and then hopefully the fear minimizes and the acceptance grows or the judgment minimizes or goes away yeah. and the acceptance grows. This book is also a resonant to things that are happening in real life. Yeah. Uh, things that are happening in right now United States. And uh, I found that very powerful. I found that very much a point uh, in favor of bringing it into a classroom setting, definitely bringing it into a family setting where the adults, the teacher and the students or the young person, you read it at the same time so that you can talk about some of the issues that are 
raised in here because they're very, very resonant. They're very applicable right now. There are things in here that would really uh, spur really deep discussion um, that would open eyes and open hearts. And because this is an emotion book, um, the emotions that you feel walking along with Tashan through what's happening here um, cross age, they cross gender, they, you're feeling human emotions with him. I think we can say they cross race, they yeah. cross socioeconomic lines, yeah. they cross a lot of stuff. I mean, one of the things Christina brought up when we were talking that I didn't even think of really is because Barbara has kept the book primarily on an emotional level, you really, she really is able to bridge our similarities and downplay our differences. Mm -hmm. And that's really powerful because there's going to be people that read this book, me included, who come from a very, very different background and a very different place. Even though I may have been to some of the places T talks about, that's not where I live, that's not where I grew up. His certain issues are not my issue. But the emotions of dealing with family, of jumping to conclusions, of wanting to fit in with friends, mm -hmm. etc., cross our lines and she did that very well. She really did. Um, there's a saying uh, among writers and people who work with uh, literature and, and beyond is that books uh, often are mirrors and or windows and this is both and it's it's a rare book that can do that. Yeah. Um, you know it, I think it reflects uh, realities for for many readers who are living uh, in places and experiencing things as Tashan is experiencing but it's also a window for people who are outside that reality and that's very valuable, especially now, where we really need to be building our empathy and our acceptance and building that deep curiosity in each other. And when we have a gut reaction to something, stopping and asking, why am I feeling this way? Digging deeper, not necessarily judging the books around us by their covers. Right. Which is a really helpful cliche right now. Because it, it really is. Fits. It really fits. <laughs> yeah. It's fantastic. My favorite thing about this book, for me, my favorite takeaway, was this idea of... When you feel fear or doubt or some negative emotion coming up, to, to train yourself to stop and not push the emotion away, mm -hmm. but be curious about the emotion. Why am I feeling this? Is this actually even about this person or am I projecting my past onto them? Is this about my insecurity about how Joe Schmo will think of me? Um, you know, how is this going to affect other parts of my life, etc.? So when we say curious, we mean really teaching kids this skill of doing a deep dive and not just taking their feelings at face value. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not that your feelings are wrong. It's just they may not be appropriate for the situation. Or frankly, they may get in your way of creating a bridge or meeting a new person or conquering a fear or whatever. Yeah. This is, I mean, this is a very light covering of a very deep issue, which is, um, you know, dealing with your own feelings and relations to others. And we by no means are saying that this is the end all and be all of this issue. But in the context of the book, um, you know, it deals with people either knowing how or not knowing how to look past the surface of situations and the people around them. And it's a really good leaping off point for digging deeper into issues of where our feelings take us and uh, what do we do with them when we have them, and especially in relation to how we treat and see other people. So, that's And even what triggers them in the first place. Absolutely. Because if yeah. you know, if you recognize, if you can recognize things that make you afraid, then you often can change your reaction to them. But mm -hmm. first you have to recognize them. And I think the book deals with that to some extent as well. It does. And you know, it's a, it's a really good lesson to learn that we can change how we see, understand, uh, and react. react to things. We can't always change those things. Right. It's often out it's of our power. It's an inside job. Yeah. One thing I didn't mention is that Barbara sets a really brisk pace um, and there are moments of suspense. So this book, the vocabulary is very accessible. It's not too simple, it's not too hard, but it is an easy read, meaning that you get so drawn in to it. And the language is tease. Yeah, it's tease. It, it seems very realistic and accurate for him. Yeah. For his character. Yeah, so it's 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 not gonna be getting the book into your mind is not gonna be a big chore because it's it's a gift and a delight and it's absolutely accessible. The the next step is to dig into what was raised in the book and the themes and the challenges and the difficulties and the realities that are talked about in here. And that's where the next step begins, and that's why it makes it such a powerful book for teachers and parents to pick up and read on their own and then share it with the young people. I think we unanimously agree that you should run to your bookstore or library once it's released in July and grab it mm -hmm. and then talk about it and share it. Do we have any cons? No. No. <laughs> no. No. No cons. No cons. So we agree that we are grateful to you, Barbara, for writing this book. And we're excited for the rest of the world to experience it, because it is an experience. 
once it yeah. comes out because then we can talk about it. Once you read it, we'd love it if you'd come back to the channel and leave comments for us about how it affected you or what your takeaways are. Just please be careful of spoilers because mm -hmm. if you have spoilers, we can't leave your comment. We'll make this face. <laughs> or we'll have to delete your comment. No. This isn't enough? Probably not. Remember, remember, choose acceptance. Subscribe. Take a ride with us. Thank you.